You may have heard that people say minorities are more hesitant to get the COVID-19 vaccine and thought to yourself, well, yeah, there's a good reason for that. And you know what? You'd be right. My mother um, lived in an era where most people have heard about the Tuskegee experiment. Um, so there's a lot of hesitancy in the, in the African-American community about a generation ahead of me. It's important for you to hear from VA clinicians of different ethnicities and professions. Yes, I strongly recommend, you know, the patients to take the vaccine first, you know, because we have a privileged uh, population of patients that have served this country and they deserve, you know, to be served back. There's a famous quote, when America catches a cold, black America catches the flu. What we do know right now is that minority communities have very high rates of infection and that's increasing our rates of hospitalization and death. At least for the Navajo Nation, we've lost so many, right? We've already had to deal with commuting pretty far just to have a job or just to go grocery shopping or going to our neighbor's house to use their internet. With the Asian Pacific, most of the time um, in a household, um, mother, grand, grand, you know, grandparents, parents, and then the kids and then grandkids, they live together. And this elderly, they have lower resistance. Even just a small dose of the uh, virus, they can get really very sick. Coronavirus is very dangerous, especially in women who are pregnant and especially in women who are breastfeeding and taking care of uh, young children. I really see a lot of veterans take the extra measure to take care of themselves. They come to the appointments early. They, you know, walk, um, exercise, they have daily routines that really gear towards a, a good quality of life. This vaccine will help our quality of life in the long run. But I think in the COVID vaccine studies, they made a big effort to include more African-Americans. And so there are a higher percentage in these studies, but there's still always room to grow. There is history that tells us about injustices in the medical profession. There's also the history of vaccines and how they changed the world for the better, many in my lifetime. But there was a time when the fear of these diseases were as normal a part of everyday discussion as COVID-19 is now. It's important to take a step back and realize that we are part of another historic moment, one that we have the ability to impact. And in fact, as veterans, this is nothing new to us. We know all about stepping up for the greater good. I ask you at this time to step up once more for yourself, your family, your neighbors, your country, and literally the world.